what's happening yellow how you doing was a year welcome to this week's episode of yc weekly where we break down the most interesting topics of the week today we'll be telling you about fashion from the 70s until now because we only have three minutes and we can't do more American fashion during the 1970s was all about freedom. Men and women became bolder with their choices and mix and match colors and patterns. The two main styles that defined this era were bohemian and sophistication. The bohemian style consisted of ruffles, flares, bell sleeves, and wild or floral patterns. Oftentimes, people preferred a more sophisticated look. This style consisted of tighter clothing made from polyester or cotton blend suits and pantsuits. Even though these were the main styles, People often mix different fashion trends to create unique looks. Think of that 70s show. All of the characters had different fashion styles, but each one still incorporated a different element of the bohemian, sophisticated, or a casual yet eye-catching style that defined the era. The 80s were a time of social change. Big hair, shoulder pads, and women's suits were office staples as more women entered the workforce. While workout culture had its beginnings in the 70s, it quickly took its rightful place in the 80s as leotards, leggings, and leg warmers became casual streetwear. Everyone owned a pair of Doc Martens and icons like Madonna and Selena Quintanilla popularized showing skin with their bra and jacket pairings and tight le leather pants. Before it was a stereotype, the preps wore khakis, polo shirts, loafers, and sweaters around their neck like Carlton from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. MC Hammer brought parachute pants into men's fashion and their love of oversized clothing bled into the 90s. The 90s was a very interesting time period. The fashion went through many different changes. Fashion trends that were really popular in the 90s were grunge, exercise wear, and even work wear. Bright neon jackets were a thing. Yikes. But if you were feeling the more grungy style, you would go for flannels, boots, combat trousers, and distressed clothing. Maybe plaid pattern clothing was more your thing, like plaid pants or plaid skirts, giving off the clueless vibe. Workwear was worn as daily attire, like blazers. The 90s were basically all over the place, but still heavily influenced fashion today. From the micro mini skirts to the dress over jeans look, the early 2000s was just a complete mess. Everyone wore very bright colorful outfits with an excessive amount of jewelry and a fake spray tan. Some of the icons of this, area, of this era were people like Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Paris Hilton, and Kim Kardashian. To all my 90s babies out there, you probably saw a lot of your fashion on some of the old shows on Disney Channel and Nickelodeon. This era was the gateway to a lot of trends that began to form right after, but for this time, everything was surrounded around baggy pants and crop tops. Basically, you were either showing as much skin as possible, or you looked like you borrowed your older siblings' clothes for the day. Fast forward to today with a fashion landscape dominated by hipsters, athleisure, grunge, skater, and a return to your grandma's closet. We're still defining what the 2010 look is. Fast fashion has made a variety of styles accessible to anyone near a mall. And some of the more defining conversations of this generation revolve around the ethics of clothes making. From goose feather to leather to dyes and underpaid factory workers, today it's more important to know where your clothes come from as long as they don't come from the 2000s. Seriously, let's all just forget that decade happened. This has been your YC Weekly and I'm your host, Seth Serate. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you next week.